Good morning. I'm Ricky Smith, pastor at Gunnersville First United Methodist Church. We are journeying with Jesus during Holy Week. And today is Wednesday of Holy Week. And again, we wonder what Jesus may be doing on Wednesday of Holy Week. Well, scripture tells us nothing of Jesus' activities on Wednesday of Holy Week. So for him, it could have been a day of rest, reflection, a day in which he spent time with family and friends. Possibly it was a day in which he spent in prayer, maybe on a hillside or some other secluded place, knowing what lie just ahead. Many scholars believe that this was the day that Judas made arrangements to betray Jesus. And as a matter of fact, the Bible tells us about that moment in Matthew chapter 26, verse 14 through 16. Let me share that with you. Then one of the 12 called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, what are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you? And they counted out to him 30 pieces of silver. And from that time, he sought opportunity to betray him. Well, the Bible tells us very clearly that Jesus knew that Judas would betray him. He knew the heart of Judas, just like he knows the hearts of all men and women. As a matter of fact, in John's gospel, Jesus makes a comment, did I not choose the 12 and one of you is a devil? Jesus knew what was in Judas's heart, which really touches me because it reminds me that Judas had the same opportunities that the other 11 disciples had. They walked with Jesus. They heard him preach the kingdom of God. They saw him heal the sick, possibly raise the dead, cast out demons. They saw him love people, feed people, help clothe people. Judas saw all that and was also sent out as one portion of a pair to preach the kingdom of God, to heal the sick, to cast out demons, just as Jesus had done. So Judas had every opportunity for a heart change all the way up until the last moment. And you know what? That reminds me of the grace and the mercy of God of which I am thankful each and every day. So as we journey through Holy Week this week and we get to Wednesday, let's stop and think today about the grace and the mercy of God that is ever present in our hearts and lives. I hope you have a blessed Wednesday of Holy Week.